Hello students, it's a 3ds Max tips and trick tutorial and in this class we cover viewport related settings or keyboard shortcut. So I start from the tip number 1 and it's related to active viewport. If a viewport is selected, it highlighted with the golden yellow color edge and if I select this viewport, now it's active viewport and it's highlighted with the golden yellow color edge. Same as if I select any other viewport, so it's also highlighted with the same color most of time we use mouse click to make a viewport active viewport but you can also use keyboard shortcut and keyboard shortcut is window key and then press shift key now you can see top viewport is active viewport and if i press shift key again window key is already pressed so it's change and same as if i press shift key again so now it's active viewport if you want to maximize this viewport, press Alt W to maximize this. You can also use this keyboard shortcut on the maximize viewport, but a different type of pop-up window is display here. So I press window key and then press shift key. A pop-up is display here. Just hover your mouse on this viewport box and then release window key. Now this perspective viewport turn into left viewport and same as you can also change this viewport to any other viewport if you want to choose perspective viewport so press shift key window key is already pressed and release your window key now it's turned into perspective viewport now i minimize this tip number two expert mode if you are working on a small screen and you want to hide this panel to extend this viewport area you can use this expert mode and keyboard shortcut is control alt then press X key. Expert mode is selected. If you want to create some geometry here, you can use create menu. All the standard and extender primitive available here. And you can also create light, camera and other helper object. Or you can also access some geometry or shape tool by right click. So press control key first and then right click. And you can see shape tool is available here. And some geometry tool is also available here if you want to create a box choose this and create a box and if you want to create a plane control key and then right click and choose plane tool and create a plane i right click to exit from the creation mode if you want to exit from the expert mode press ctrl alt x to exit tip number three disable viewport First I select this top viewport and then press ctrl shift T and you can see this viewport is disabled now. First I create some geometry here. So I choose teapot and create a teapot and then right click to exit from the creation mode. You can see teapot is updated in these two viewport but not update in this top viewport because it's a disabled viewport. But if you click on this viewport it's immediately update. Autodesk recently updated this keyboard shortcut. If you are using a older version of 3ds Max, you can use Ctrl D to enable or disable viewport. Tip number 4. Undo view pen. First I maximize this viewport and change the angle. Top, side, okay. And if you want to go back in the view, so you can choose keyboard shortcut Shift Z to undo view pen. And if you want to redo press shift y to redo view pen so it's very useful sometime if you are not using camera tool i minimize again and tip number five is save active view so first i set this view like this and if you want to save this view you can use view menu so i click on the views and then set active view and click on the set active perspective view so this view is saved now and if you change like this or this and if you want to go back to save view go to view menu and then click on the restore active perspective view so you get a same angle it's a very useful tool and it's a alternate of camera tool Tip number six, so save frame and it's used for output window or render window. By pressing shift F, you can activate this and you can see a black area is display here on the top and bottom side and it will not come in the render window. 
and if you want to change the window size you can use render setting so i click on this icon in the render setup window change the output size and choose custom and you can choose different different image aspect ratio from here i choose 1.3 so dimension is changed here and if you choose one by one so it's a square window and you can also choose 1.7 that for HD I close this window some more settings related to this save frame available in the plus sign if you click on this plus sign and then click on the configure viewport and choose save frame tab and activate these other save frame options and then apply so you can see these are different different shape areas I uncheck these okay so it's a active safe area and your scene or object should be inside this rectangle tip number seven capture still image in window you can use print screen tool for this work and in 3ds max you can use grab viewport tool and it's available in the tools menu and then click on the preview grab viewport and two type option is available here first option for animation and second option for capture still image so i click on the capture still image and provide some name i choose 01 in the name box and then grab capture window is display here and if you want to save this window click on the save button and save in the jpg or png format from here tip number eight float viewport and this tool available in the plus sign so i click on this float viewport tool available here and you can create maximum three floating viewport so i click on the viewport one a float viewport window is display here you can place anywhere and if you want to change the view click on the orthographic or perspective and change a different view from here and you can create more floating viewport and choose different view from here maximum three floating viewport is created and place in any other screen i hope you like this tutorial for more tips and tricks videos subscribe my channel and like this video